Good morning everyone, it's Yvonne here from the Aussie Goddess um, to do your reading for Hall Hump Day, Wednesday the 24th of July. I set off with the Shadowscape step today, um, being I poured it out yesterday. I, um, I think it's a really pretty deck, but this is really small, this one, and it's hard to read sometimes. Um, but it's still beautiful. Um, now, this weekend, 27th, 28th, I'm at Batemans Bay. 3rd of August, I'm at Bomaderry Gypsy Caravan. And the 25th of August, I am at Bathurst. I ha am having a Facebook Live on August the 11th. And then I'll have a review because I haven't got so many fairs booked in between now and the end of the year. So I think I might have a look and see if we can get a YouTube um, Live going and see how we go with that. Uh, I'll have to work out a date though. I've not done one before, so... I will be calling for someone out to help me out with mediating the the um, session. Alrighty, someone volunteered for me a while back, but I probably expected myself to go over the line sooner. So if you if volunteered to be a mediator for me a while back, please step forward. I'd really help, uh, appreciate your help with mediating the channel. just means you have the right to go in and remove people if they don't um, treat the channel with respect. Let's say that. All right, let's get on with you. What's cracking? We do have the Three of Wands coming out first. So the Three of Wands talks about looking out towards the future and waiting for your ships to come in. That usually means you're ready for something new, you're anticipating, you may have tried to manifest something and now you're waiting for it to return to you. Um, so you're standing here waiting for that to happen. Uh, the Ten of Swords is behind that, which is a pretty tough card to find this morning. Um, and behind that, the Seven of Swords and the Devil card. Wow. Well, for me, this is about you ending out some sort of cycle. Um, in terms of the Devil card here, perhaps a cycle around codependency or addiction. It could be that you've got control of a, an addictive behaviour. You could have left an abusive relationship. Um, but you've left something behind that's kept you bound before. So there's this beautiful sense of freedom here that you've walked away from things here and you're ready to take something new on because you're no longer thinking from this negative perspective. You've opened your world up and you're ready to speak your truth and move forward because you've left this devil energy behind. So it's actually a really nice little mini read. So many of you, and I do speak to so many people, um, the, the thing to remember is you can heal without doing the work. You can always heal because healing, you know, is part of that grief process, for example. Um, the only thing is if you put in the extra effort, like if you're doing meditation or you're taking time out to understand who you are or spend time investing in yourself, that speeds up some of that process around the healing. So... You know, some people, when they go through a grievance process, might take a number of months or even years to get past something. So by taking the lead yourself and helping yourself through that process, you can make that process a lot quicker. Um, you know, for example, if you've had a breakup with someone or you've walked away from a relationship that's very negative and you're, you know, walking out, as that little mini story says, and you're moving on your pathway, if you start to do things like, you know, cut, chords, um, do soul retrieval meditations, um, do meditations, tapping, even if you go out and do, you know, some meditations, some Reiki healing, whatever suits your needs, then you are moving yourself quicker towards your future. Okay, so the first card we have out here is the magician. So the magician talks about um, having all the tools you need is the practical answer to that. But the magician is about manifesting. It's about understanding what you want from your world and trying to bring it in. And the universe is saying that you actually have the tools to do that. You just have to understand what those tools are and how to use them. So what I just explained to you, for example, would be the tools you have. Um, you know, being able to understand how to, you know, you might take on a I don't know, healthy eating exercise program to help you get past something because it keeps you occupied. You might decide to take up some sort of craft because that helps you keep your mind off things. So when the magician is saying about manifesting, that's 
the sort of thing we're talking about. The Queen of Wands is coming out here. So you could have been dealing with a fire sign. The Queen of Wands is a very beautiful card. The character in it is um, very powerful uh, leader. Uh, very self-assured, confident, feeling sexy. This could be you at the moment, just starting to move forward and feeling very much in this power. Um, she does represent the fire signs, Leo, Sag or Aries, but it's more about this very fiery character, this passion that she's driven with here. Okay, the High Priestess is coming up next. I'm really liking this reading. The High Priestess talks about your intuition. It also talks about things that are unknown yet. It's sort of a little bit like the moon, but not quite in the same way. So the high priestess talks about using your intuition to understand the things that are hidden from you. So maybe you're, you know, trying to understand reasons for something, the why something's happened. And your intuition will help you resolve some of those things. Ten of Pentacles coming out here, which is absolutely beautiful. So what this is saying through this process, you're bringing in your own abundance here. You're starting to feel, you know, mighty fine with this whole process. And you're starting to really understand that by doing these things, this is the what you produce. Now, the Ten of Pentacles can also talk about large sums of money. So it could be, you know, for example, if you've walked away from a job that wasn't serving you in that little mini read um, due to codependency or toxic energy then what they're saying here is you now have all the tools to move towards having additional money so maybe there's something better coming in for you here in terms of a job relationship work uh five of swords coming in so i was call this the sort of empty victory card it's about taking back your power uh, some people see it as selfishness. I see it more as you've won something. You may not have gained what you wanted from it. So if it was a relationship, you've still gained the freedom to move on to something better here. Um, it may, may have been at the cost of losing something, but that's small cost compared to what you have to gain. Six of Cups coming in here. So Six of Cups is the card of reminiscing and it's about the past. Sometimes can be someone returning too. So if it is a relationship, yeah, we have the tower coming in here. So I've got a completely different reading now. So I'll just put a few more cards out. Ace of Cups here. And we'll go and read the whole lot together. Ace of Pentacles. Wow, this is amazing reading. Okay, and the Five of Pentacles at the end, which isn't quite so crash hot, but we'll go with that. There's something here that you walked away from. Now, it could have been in the past, but it's something you've walked away from here that was toxic. Um, something that you carried around as a heavy burden. So something here you invested a lot of time and energy into um, could have been something that didn't serve you well. You could have been dealing with someone who wasn't honest with you too or didn't speak or tell you how they felt about something. But you walked away and you did the you did the best thing you could for yourself. And I can see that here. Um, now what's happening, of course, is the universe is saying you've put in all the good work. We're now bringing you in something. So in essence, that's what the reading is telling you, that you've done all of what you needed to do. And because of that, you're going to be greatly rewarded. For some of you here, this is about someone returning to bring back love and stability, someone that you did leave behind because of toxic energy. Um, the thing is with this, you know, a lot of people say, oh, I don't want someone back. Well, that's fine. But there's some sort of closure here that needs to be brought to you because there's a tower here. So the tower always breaks down what you've learned before in order to rebuild. And obviously that's happening here with this Ten of Pentacles. So you're bringing in something so much better. And it may not be this person because the Five of Pentacles is sitting here, which sort of talks about being left out in the cold. And that comes after this situation. So it could be that you leave someone else out in the cold here. It could be you walk away from somebody because what they're offering isn't what you want due to what happened in the past or you're unsure about accepting something here because of this past issue. Um, this person is creating something for you. Um, they're bringing you in the love and the stability. And this can be about self-love and stability here. Sorry, my hands are freezing this morning. Um, this could be bringing in like stability and love for yourself here. So it could be through this lesson, 
but through this person returning to perhaps give you a message that they held back from you in the past, that they in turn give you a brand new start in that you learn that actually it wasn't really about this person in the first place. It was about you learning about your own self-value um, because you do have the Ace of the Cups and Ace of Pentacles here. And I do note that I said Ace of the Cups again, which always makes it sound like Game of Thrones. Um, this person here is here to teach, help you learn something about yourself. So it is going to create some sort of tower moment here. So some sort of epiphany within you that helps you to understand your own personal value. Now, that doesn't mean you don't end up with this person. I think I've said that many times before. What it is, it's about this situation and manifesting what it is you want. So if it's not this person, it's about manifesting a new future for yourself through your own self-love and stability. I will get you an oracle card. But if you want this person, it looks like they're coming back in for you. So um, if you want to have them back, perhaps, you know, oh, I've got two. Perhaps, um, quite interestingly enough, um, this person, what breaks down here is maybe for them too, you know, breaking down their inability to speak up and talk about what they want. So you may have been dealing with someone who is very closed off emotionally or maybe unable to express themselves. But what's happening here is the universe is putting you both in a position where you can be open and honest with each other um, in order to bring in a more solid and stable future. So it's possible um, with the magician that you are helping them manifest as well. So I do have two cards coming out here. One is the card of the sacrifice. So I'll read that first. Okay, so the sacrifice says that you offer to spirit that which is most precious to you. Your offering will be sanctified and returned tenfold. You will be elevated to the altar which you've been praying and meet the divine at the table with the heavenly feast. You're a welcome guest in this banquet. Your heart is the only worthy offering you can bring. Life has been generous with you in so many ways. So that's absolutely beautiful. So it's about you giving of yourself in a situation. That's not giving yourself to a person. It's about you being generous by obviously working with someone to improve something here. And for yourself and this person, it may be that you release each other so you can both move forward. The other card is the mystical shaman here. Now, the mystical shaman says, you're invited to consider the ability to live without attachment. This is what may be very much about what the tower is doing here. Maybe releasing your need for attachment. That's really interesting. Um, you are called to create and dream your life, to act on inspiration and divine impulse without fixating on a known story or success of achievement. And that's what it means by breaking down your beliefs. Um, what if you could become a mystery to yourself? Who would you become if you stopped telling the tales that have defined you up until now? You do not have to live in a story that has roots in the past. What if there were no need to explain to yourself, not even anyone? The way to your most extraordinary life is to become a blank slate and allow the form of your dreams and desires to show up as it will. This is a sign of manifesting a life beyond your wildest dreams. What a perfect card to have with that reading. Absolutely because what it's talking about here is being able to let go of what has happened before. So if you have someone who returns to you, they're going to offer you an opportunity to let go with this tower of attachment, as in the first card, and also about your former beliefs, being able to drop those and move forward in order to find this complete and absolute happiness here. I do see with this five of pentacles, which is always a strange card because it does talk about being left out in the cold. But what it could mean after reading those oracle cards is that after that, you have a lot of processing to do. So it may be that you walk away from this person in order to process or you may walk away from each other in order to process this whole situation. Beautiful reading. Thanks, guys.